The late Fred Obegi's father spoke to the media a day after his son's mutilated body was found in Kijabe Forest along with three others. Obegi's father, Evans Boendo, explained that he had only learned about his son uh, through one of his friends. He added that his late son had gone missing with the company of his son. That wasn't all. Mr. Buendo also revealed that he didn't know the real source of his son's income and had always assumed he sold air tickets and did academic writing. I thought, and he quoted, I thought my son sold air tickets online. That is what he had told me when he left home in February. But now that he has been found dead, I am also shocked about what it is that made my son die the way he did. Naam napia kwingineko uh, ni kuwa Fred Obegi, Elijah Omeka, Fred Mukaya na Moses Nyachai ni vijana ambao waliweza kuuliwa kwa unyama kwani sehemu zao za siri zilitolewa baada ya kifo chao. Mili yao iliweza kutupwa kwenye msitu wa Kijabe. Polisi wanadai kwamba wanne hawa waliweza kuvamiwa na waleza kuvamiwa na wanyama pori baada ya kuuliwa na ndio maana pia kuna sehemu nyingi sana za mwili zao ambazo hazipatikani kando na sehemu zao za siri na kwenye Twitter kuna kijana ambaye anajulikana kama Aaron ameweza kujitokeza na kuonyesha vile ambavyo watu wanahadaiwa kwenye mitandao ya kijamii On Frank Obegi and more of these all I can say is this of late there has been an increase in the number of Kenyan of young Kenyan requesting cash apps, Zelle, Venmo, bank accounts, World Remit, Sendwave, PayPal and home addresses of their friends stroke family in the US and North America. They convince their friends and families in the US that they are in online writing business. Once they get your information, they send insane amounts of money to their accounts requested. They are even generous enough to give you 10% or even more. What their counterparts in the US do not know is that these guys are engaging in crypto scam. These scammers hack bank accounts of US citizen residents and send the money to the accounts they were given. And when the money hits the account, they are required to send the money. And the worst case is when the police contacting you to know how the transactions were done and why the money was moved in vast amounts the moment it hit your account. Imagine being in incarcerated in a foreign country for a crime you didn't know or you never committed. The banks in the US use a system called check system. When your name or social security number is forwarded to the system you won't be able to open a bank account in any US bank you cannot survive in these countries without a bank account and now your problems have just begun and this is what Aaron wrote as he also continues by saying advice to the crypto gang disguising itself as online writers please don't mess up the lives of your brothers or sisters in the US there is no businesses there's no business that gives you 80% profit unless it's a scam if you have family members in the US be sure to inform them about all these uh, he also finished by saying help me in spreading this information to more Kenyans in uh, abroad na mnapia kando na hayo yote inadaiwa kuwa kupitia cryptocurrency Uh, huyu Frank Obegi aliweza kuhadaa mtu shilingi milioni moja na ndio maana ni kama kupitia kazi ya kuhada watu waliweza kutekwa nyara na kuliwa kiunyama ndani ya msitu wa Kijabe na basi kifo cha wanne hawa bado kinazidi kuchunguzwa na kwa hivyo mpenzi mtazamaji au msikilizaji hakikisha kwanza una subscribe kwenye channel yetu ya YouTube ili uweze kupata habari moto moto punde tu unapozipata